Welcome back to Artist on Record, your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist. In the hot seat, he is back, Ace Frally. He is talking and we are listening. It all starts now. Cool. Did you enjoy working with Vinnie Poncia? Very much so, because we used to do quaaludes together. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Vinny was great to work with. Vinny understood me very well. He knew I liked to get up, but he also knew I was a pro. And uh, this is what he used to say to me, like, when it came time for me to do solos, he kicked everybody out of the studio. <laughs> because you know, Paul and Gene used to fucking break my balls. Because sometimes, you know, it would take a few takes for me to get a good solo back in those days. Now I just knock them out like a cup of coffee. <laughs> but, uh, Vinny, he was holding on to the quaaludes. And he go, listen, I go, Vinny, I want a quaalude. He goes, no, nope. you let's get this solo done. And after the solo, I'll give you your treat. You know, so once I nailed the solo, you know, he'd throw me a couple of quaaludes. He'd take a couple. We'd wash it down with a beer. That was Vinny. I was also really good friends with John Belushi. Wow, really? Yes. Tell me a Belushi I story. I was with him up the weekend before he left to go to California. No way, really. Yeah. We used to go on three day coke runs. I have seen the light. John loved me. And uh, one of the reasons he loved me, many reasons. Number one, I'd get him laid. Because I, you know, I was dating a lot of models and shit, and I was a phone call. Yeah, yeah. You know, and John's not the best looking guy in the world, even though he's a hysterical comedian. So, uh, and I don't know if you're aware of the fact, you know, once, once Saturday Night Live they became super famous, they they couldn't go out because they'd get hassled by people. So John and Dan bought a bar below Canal Street, and they. Sand blocked the windows with uh, uh, cinder blocks, and they put a metal door there with little people. And after Saturday Night Live was recorded, you'd see a dozen limos on this fucking street, a couple of streets south of Canal, and only on Saturday night, you know, like one, two in the morning. Yeah. And of course, I was allowed in because uh, everybody knew me. I knew Gilda and all those kind of idiots, <laughs> you know. But I, I would hang with John. But this was here was the beauty of it. Him and Dan bought this bar, so everybody could party Saturday night. But the rest of the week, it wasn't used. So John would call me up on a Wednesday and say. I just got an ounce of some Fluvian flake. I go, I'm right. I'll be, I'll see you in 20 minutes. So uh, we hook up and I'd say, uh, we'd have a couple of beers and uh, you'd say, you want to go down to the bar? I go, yeah, I'll, I'll make a couple of phone calls. So I got a couple of models to come down to the bar and meet us there. You know, next thing you know, in their underwear, they're laying on the bar with snorting coke off their tits. <laughs> and John's John's playing drums. I'm playing guitar. You know, the girls are dancing on the floor. It was just the four of us. I mean, John said to me the day before he was flying back, flying back to Connecticut to finish the movie Neighbors. Neighbors, yeah. He said, Ace, you're one of the few people that can crack me up. I'm definitely putting you in my next film. Wow. And we all know what happened. 
Yeah, it's cr- the, the the what the the lady that he was hanging with. She was a uh, going out used to go out with Gordon. Gave him a hot dose. She gave him a hot dose. She was she like, yeah. Heroin. She gave him heroin and speed. It's another. And just- I tell you, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, I I knew John for a while. Never would use the needle. Didn't like needles. I didn't like needles. He was depressed about his wife and shit wasn't going well. He was upset about some other shit. So he, he met this crazy broad and she she says, let me shoot you up. You know, you feel better. She ended up and kill him. You can catch this full episode on our Members Only Club right here on YouTube. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and click on the box you see right here for our next episode. Who loves you, baby? We do. Thanks for watching.